streamers who got caught worse than Diddy got caught with with his loop. Cheaters, streamers who cheated worse than Diddy cheated on his loop. Just f watch. Using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold. These are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Up until this point, Elm Zero had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex Legends gameplay. Nice. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. I know nothing about shooters, so I don't know what's impressive or what's not impressive here. And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Oh, he just shot through that building. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was, yeah. before locking onto the player with near perfect accuracy. How does that Elm happen? Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the- Guys, is cheating actually, is, is this a big deal? Um, if you're cheating and you're just playing online for fun, eh, who cares? But if you're in a tournament and there's money on the line, then you're in fact violating a contract. You're cheating other players who spent time on their craft. You're cheating them out of potential winnings. So in my opinion, it's a big deal to cheat, especially when there's money on the line. If you're, you know, if you're playing the game yourself, you're not playing against anybody else, who cares? You bought the thing. But cheating other people out of money is essentially what you're doing and cheating other people out of fun. The past. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose Elm Zero for okay. good, another clip was tweeted of him warming up for the match, in which his aim was once again robotically accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith- It's because of the stop and go. The stop and go seems weird. It's like it wants to lock on. It's like that aim's trying to lock on. Which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media- Oh, he quit! Appearing he quit! The internet. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program. So this is aimbot. These uh, these red squares are aimbot. So this isn't part of the game. These red squares... I guess help you aim or something. Together. At the time, he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people. However, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Writing in the chat is that aimbot. On your screen, it has like red squares. You got called out, bro. Just number. give up. Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen has red squares around them. And after pretending to be confused okay. for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage was deleted. In the days Pathetic. that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. Up. No, it's Pathetic. not. No. Just take accountability. I hate when people don't take accountability. You got caught. Your ass got caught. Now you're gonna, you're gonna make your own community feel like crap about it. You got caught. Face the music. It's not, and I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. If you want to get banned, you're gonna get banned if you call me out for cheating. I'm a cheater. Thing is, streaming is entertainment, but there's also people who stream and they get viewers because they're good. And being good and being entertaining have a little bit of crossover. But if you're not that good, you can still be a very entertaining streamer. But these people don't know how. He talks like this. Yeah, that sounds so fun to watch a streamer playing like this. I'm so good. You can watch the side of my head as, as I play. No. So he's like stealing attention by using these hacks because people think he's artificially better than what he is, but it's hurting other people who are playing against him is what it's doing. If they're streamers also, they might be good and they're losing because they're getting aimbotted or whatever. Yet after being pressured by the audience, Semba admitted- Like he doesn't even have lighting on his face. Like he bare basic shit. Did the cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday. Oh, now there was wall hacks. How did that happen? On stream. Like I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However, at least Simba eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing, as the okay. next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person. I know this person. one. I know this one. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini, and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? That sometimes- 
She also doesn't have any kind of lighting on her face. You know, yeah. because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating! However, the real reason behind why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. Ah, what? They're mid! So these are wall hacks. Oh, yeah, you could see where the players are and you can see their health through the wall. So you can just shoot through the wall and know where the players are or you can see players going to sneak up on you. I'm not, a, I'm not a gamer, so I don't really know. But that seems to be where it is. You could see where the players are through a wall. That's way too much power to have. That's for sure cheating. Mid. To be. Going back to be. Yeah, because she knew when to shoot. Uh, so it looks like she's not shooting through the walls, but she knows when they're going to pop out because she sees them moving. After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and Whoops. attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys Whoops. ever get that uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank, that it shows everyone's rank? I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. Uh, uh so now somebody else has a glitch. So now you involve somebody else in, in your lie. Okay, cool. I don't know what's why. It's weird. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini, stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara! Hold on. Clara, give me one second. Clara, let me just message this girl. Clara. One second. Why is this on my computer right now? Clara! What is this? How do I close this? Clara, why? I text my friend Clara. Clara. I'm gonna text right. Clara. She was Clara, my friend named Clara is I'm Clara. Gonna kill her. She promised me she didn't use it on me. I'm literally, literally, literally gonna kill Clara. PC. Clara, out of Cl all people, Clara. this is what happens ah. when you let people use your PC. Realizing that happens. there was no Clara. getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. Yet, unfortunately, this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. I didn't know you get banned for cheating in a video game on Twitch, though. I get if you were, like, in a tournament and you're cheating, they'd be... I didn't know you just get banned for playing a game and, and cheating. Because you bought the game, right? Because people can just stream anything. I can stream a cooking channel. Like, I could be a cooking channel and I can stream on Twitch. Are they going to ban me if I use too much pepper? Like, unless cheating's against their terms, which I didn't know it was. Yeah. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly Clara. as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament. Right. This is what should be illegal. I, I don't know why she would get banned for using aimbots. I don't understand why that's against the terms. I, I get I get why Xbox might ban you or the, the video game might ban you. I don't know why Twitch dictates how you play a game that you bought. But if you're in a tournament, yeah, then you're messing with other people's wallet. Which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018. And in the five game... There, you know what I noticed? A lot of these gamers are skinny and a lot of them aren't fat. Whereas I would expect a lot of pro gamers to be f fat, like no offense to anybody, but a lot of them are really skinny. I think it's because they're putting so much time in that they just don't got time to eat. They're just putting so much, so many hours, they're not going to walk to the kitchen, but they're just going to keep playing. That's crazy. Games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assumed that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background. Oh, he's it like would only be after the USB. main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange flick into the ground was followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Oh yeah, you see that? He he did he just locked onto that guy. His scope while he was shooting was perfectly the guy was perfectly in the middle of that scope that whole time that little crosshair. That's extremely I don't know how any human would do that. Him locking perfectly. Because you don't know the speed the guy's going to run at. Perfectly onto the enemy. Yeah, he's just locking in. Perfectly locked. Perfectly well, locked There was again. a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high-level player. It will be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. Wow. Locked perfect. After locking locked. onto the enemy through a wall, event organizers called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. Okay, so they didn't call him a cheater yet. They're just checking. That's fine. 
At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer. However, the officials would ignore this and look anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from India, Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified. See, that's the problem. He got his whole team disqualified now. He messed with their purse. Imagine the sponsors. He messed up the sponsor's money. He messed up his teammates' money because he wasn't confident enough in himself. That's crazy. How, how dumb do you have to be, man? ...from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement. I have not had any financial pressure, any family pressure, anything is reason to cheat. It was all me. It was all me who wanted to win every game, wanted to be perfect in every aspect of the game, confident in my decision making, confident in understanding of the game, but I was never confident in my aim. So to compensate that lack of confidence and aim, I had to choose the wrong path. None of my teammates had any idea of the program I use, including my coach. I did use hacks inside the boot camp, but it was impossible for them to know. If I could go back, I would probably delete the day. Delete. You can tell he's a gamer. Hey, he took accountability, bro. He took full accountability, at least. Explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had Props. even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, but Forsaken isn't the only person in this video to cheat in a professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. Nope. He's not dying! Why is he not dying? Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. Oh yeah, that wasn't fully his fault though. That the game that was a glitch in the game. So uh, is that against the rules? After continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. <laughs> I don't think he is cheating. I think he just went with it. Yeah. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. That's he not knew he bad. wasn't taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. He should have uh, wandered his character off in a corner and set the controller down and just not been a part of the game anymore. From that point on, it's unfortunately... And, like, maybe the match could have been restarted at that point because of that. Maybe the match should have... Honestly, I think the match should have been restarted because none of the players playing caused that to happen at all. That was purely the game engine messing up. A glitch that was never intended to happen, happened. The match should have been restarted. And, and maybe that's not fair too, but there's no perfect way to stop. It's, it's not his fault the glitch happened, yet he has to leave the game. And if his whole team gets DQ'd for that, that's especially not fair, you know what I mean? But he did take advantage of that, and because he took advantage of it, at that point, either his team should be DQ'd, unfortunately, or the match should be restarted, as long as it wasn't too late in the match, you know? That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. Yeah. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot whilst trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had what? built up a warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex Legend. Okay, so that means for every death you have, you have two kills. That's pretty good, right? play in the beginning, Captain Baldy would be called out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. Oh wow! He's perfectly locked on them! And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, okay. yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control, delete. What? Aimbot, aimbot mode, smooth aim. Smooth aim accelerated. Aim bone affects FPS. He has silent aim on. 
He has aimbot mode on zoom. Off, off. Effects, FPS up to 98. Aim priority, distance. Okay, he has aim at downed players on. He has aim at enemies on. That's crazy. He's just a cheater. You got exposed, bro. And he's a baldy. I'm a baldy, too. Oh, he's not even a baldy. He's lying about being bald, too. Not control, please, test, man. Oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain oh my god, is right. relentlessly, which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from Cod. You got caught. No you got way. caught, bro. No Damn. <laughs> with the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Another Young. Another one. Although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from. So just like our last cheater, the audience requested that he show his task manager. Okay. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu. However, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight, over 2k views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs people, really appreciate the help. Listen, as, as, a, as a marketer, it, I, I mean, you, you could get banned on Twitch for using those hacks, so the shout out in this case is not going to help. It's just not going to help. And if you're going to enter tournaments, you're not going to be able to enter any tournaments now. So, and why would people watch you? Once they know you're cheating, the allure of you being good isn't as interesting. So, they say all publicity is good publicity. That's not necessarily true. If you're too dumb to turn that into good publicity, then it's bad publicity. And this is bad publicity. Thanks for the shout outs. I, that's not smart, man. Oh, although these 2,000 views worth of free press didn't contribute to the long term growth of. Yeah, there it goes. There you go. Banned. Twitch banned a cheater. His career, as Young hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare okay. player. Okay. The reason for this claim would become apparent in July of 2020, when he'd go live displaying his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end is that why you can see the you can see the players through the walls? He knows exactly where they are. They should be hidden. He shouldn't know where they are on the map. He knows exactly where they are. Into Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was Crazy. banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never heard from ever again. You're done, but This bro. is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Okay. Mr. Golds was a much more significant figure in the Call of Duty community, sporting a Twitch follower count of over 50,000. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people, Mr. Gold's Woo! his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? Okay, so he's bragging about how good he is at Call of Duty, and he brings up Task Manager, which shows the programs you have running. Okay, XSplit is, is like a streaming thing. There's Task Manager itself, Google Chrome's running, Discord is how you talk to people, and Call of Duty is the game. I don't see any cheats there. I mean, it's like, like, seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also- But there it is, right behind the damn Task Manager, you fucking moron. He's literally talking, he's literally talking about how good he is. Wow, the cheats are on. You see it on. Aim at enemies is on. What? It's called engine owning. Also accidentally brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Bro, Despite having one you lost credibility. 1,800 viewers at the time. Almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, he's cheating. Of course, the cheater is also cheating his YouTube or his Twitch views. Of course. Of course he's cheating everything he can cheat. Of course. Shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. Oh. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in okay. which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about it. I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean to? Yeah. You don't download and use cheats without meaning to. Right. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on to try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite 
despite it having is. cheated it for months is. in the lead up to his act. You are what you do, not what you say. If you say you're a good person, but you do bad things, you're not a good person. You are what you do. The actions are what matters. Expose. These days, Mr. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla. Oh yeah, so he's just a scammer too? Uh, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more interesting question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game? What? This is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. So would that be an accident? What's happening? Why are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating? A dev cheating. Wait, wait, you're not seeing him? You can't see me? Oh my god, am I hidden? Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Is that considered cheating? Is it like a developer's option or did he download an illegal hack? Illegal hack. Guys, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor okay. guy, lol. However, there was absolutely no- I forgive that guy. I fully forgive him if that was like a developer thing and it was just an accident. I forgive the guy. It wasn't like a tournament or anything. Completely innocent, man. Accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And then he was going to test the hacks for his video. Have you ever heard the term play stupid games? Win stupid prizes. Kids don't know. They don't know. If you play a stupid game, you you might win a prize from that game. He's playing the game of, uh, it's okay because I'm letting you know I'm cheating. You're playing a dumb game. You're going to win a prize of getting banned, bro. You're, you're going to... Uh, this is what happens. Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. Over the following seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, dude, oh. what? Oh. Aimbot is crazy. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? He's well, just ruining other players' experience. And a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have... Circumventing banning is usually against the rules with every single service you use that allows banning. Circumventing that banning using a new account so that only the new account gets banned, that's all against the terms of service. So he's playing a stupid game. I have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. Jarvis finished the video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm up. Yeah, you're making it seem super fun, right? 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video titled I've been banned from Fortnite, I'm sorry, in which okay. he explained that he could no longer play the game. I have actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. Before stating that he was extremely wow. sorry for his actions. Actions. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know now how big of a mistake this was. And like, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can... The video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I, I like that he's taking accountability, but he could have edited out him crying in the video and he left the crying parts in, which makes me think he does want sympathy from the viewers when he makes that video. Part of the reason why he uploaded that was to get sympathy in addition to the accountability.
I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me. This is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. Gotta do it. The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish who might have the craziest cheating story Crazy in this name. whole video. Super fast jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players. Wasn't he cheating by using Yoshi? Isn't that already a hack? The fact that he used Yoshi, is, isn't that already like proof that he modded the game? who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up okay. to his blindfolded attempts, Superfast Jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game. It is crazy, by the way, that you can beat this game blindfolded. I, I've looked it up a little bit. You have to listen to audio cues. And a lot of what you do is you change the camera angles tactically. It, it's very complicated. Without eyesight, and apparently he was correct, as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 to upload a video titled <laughs> Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun, in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he so somehow know exactly normally. where the 1-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the 1-up will go and once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after oh. chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who is actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, Superfast Jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he tried to claim that the run had been faked deliberately. That speed run well, was... It, it was faked deliberately. Either way, but I'm curious how he's going to try to explain his way out of this is purposely fake it was purposely fake yet yeah. nobody seemed to buy any of his lies a super fast jellyfish's time in the spot we know it was purposely fake how, how does that help that's the whole problem. If it was accidentally fake, that's something else. Spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95%. Ooh. Everybody watch the original video in the comments or in the description. And okay, okay, subscribe to me. I'm the best. Subscribe to me. Okay, bye now.